What is up guys, Noli here and as predicted the Gage Shotgun Pack has been announced on Tuesday the 1st of July. Um, I did say this was most likely going to be announced around about now, looking for a release on Thursday on day 3 of the uh, website. So currently we're on day 1 and we can see this shotgun video running in the background, there appears to be three shotguns as you can see down here being added within the game amongst some extra things just going through what we can tell from this video first of all um, let's actually take a look at Gage himself we've got two of the new shotguns added within this uh, DLC and finally most likely one of the masks uh, that is the equivalent of the KSG and that is the equivalent of the striker you got a pump action single um, fire like slug shooter I believe the KSG works as and then you've got a um, the semi-auto power of the striker with high spread uh, this is coming primarily from Call of Duty knowledge of all things unfortunately um, and looking at the mask again we've got the baboon I have a feeling that this mask pack is gonna be monkeys um, it's that the shotguns are sort of involved in this sort of guerrilla warfare and uh, that's where I imagine the ideas come from the same as insects were for snipers and these uh, weapon packs always seem to choose animals for their masks so we can have some awesome looking primate masks coming out um, but that's not the only weapon we're seeing and indeed we're gonna call them attachments but it, it seems to be round types because I'm seeing rounds that don't just seem to be bullets here I think we might be getting something along the lines of frag rounds. We're seeing the new melee weapon there, by the way. That is like a baton. Um, don't know what the stats on that thing is going to be, but looking at something that big, we might be looking at um, the addition of things like swords, proper swinging weapons, as opposed to just simple stabbing knives. Um, so a slight advance for the melee combat system as well. There is a third shotgun by the looks of things. I believe that's a second semi-auto uh, with a slightly different fire style, but I could be wrong. We can't really tell what that is until tomorrow. So finally, shotguns get some love. Everyone's raving about rifles nowadays. What happened to the good old pepper gun? Hear me out. As a crook, you often find yourself inside homes, drug nests, FBI headquarters, apartment buildings, small banks, big banks, or saving an old friend. All of these scenarios and surroundings are a match made in heaven for a compact weapon like the shotgun, able to fire devastating payloads at close range. So of course, noting the Hoxton saving mission already. I must admit however, just like yours truly, this shotgun isn't a perfect weapon. But whatever it lacks, it makes up for in raw power. With the right type of ammunition, you can even penetrate the thickest of shield shields, like I'm saying, frag rounds, explosives, whether these are going to be attachments or how the ammunition is going to work, we'll have to see. Um, but it, it's going to be a step in the right direction for diversifying combat within the game. And, and shotguns are already really popular. I know they say everyone's raving about rifles, yes the snipers were really popular and probably still are, but shotguns were the go-to weapons. The Moscone was so cool when we first had it, the locomotive is possibly the best secondary, uh, unless you're going to be running pistols with the Pistol Messiah skill. So undoubtedly these shotguns are going to be strong and heavily utilised. Seeing as I'm the expert around here and the only one who seems to show shotguns the love they truly deserve, I've taken the liberty of picking three of my favourite ones to share with you. These next few days are going to be exciting. I'm giddy as a little cloaker. Speaking of which, now this is going to be available on the 3rd of July, Thursday as always. Um, I believe that's $5, uh, the usual gauge weapon pack price so this is DLC the weapon packs are always DLC and they do cost a little bit but whatever they come with additionally uh, beyond the weapons and masks are always free to use for everybody and it does seem like we might be getting something else so looking at these shotguns um, I can't really tell which one is which at this point however we're likely gonna see a, a long thin one for the KSG like a bulkier one um, for the striker we don't know what the other one is though at this point uh, so we have masks, which I've already noted, likely going to be gorilla uh, or primate based. Um, melee, which I have also already mentioned, we have a baton, a more more of a swinging type weapon that seems to knock people down. 
uh, with relative ease, as you see within this gameplay. That might just be because it's on relatively easy difficulties, though. Um, and finally, we have more. <laughs> Slightly simplistic. <coughs> Pardon me. But um, more could mean anything, really. we we got to be careful, because this is a DLC, and what they add in DLC um, is exclusive. They try and keep far from game changing. Um, but we could be seeing more pre-planning on different missions or something along those lines. Um, definitely Im improvements in the complexity of how <coughs> sorry, missions are functioning. But that is that for today. Um, we're going to find out what the third shotgun is and what stats and attachments and probably ammunition, how that's going to work tomorrow. And we're going to find out exactly what these melee weapons are, possibly more than one. Whether I was right about the masks, and of course, what else is being added within this DLC and update um, within the next couple of days, of course. Day 3 is release day. I am unfortunately away from Wednesday to Friday. Uh, I'll be back on Friday to make a video. Um, I may be covered for, I haven't done any schedule uploads because the sort of stuff I want to upload is stuff that's work in progress, but I will be there very soon after the DLC is out to show you how to obtain the achievements, what the shotguns are like, um, and to review the uh, DLC in general because I always like to do that with these sort of big paid um, DLCs. So that is that, uh, I hope you are all looking forward to the shotgun pack. and. Um, those of you who adore the use of shotguns, definitely look to pick this up. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you all in the next one.